Hello friends, this is something new that I am just starting. Real quick, if you're new here, my name is Jay Morrell. This is a large family table, and we end up talking a whole lot, a lot of, about food in all its forms, a whole lot of food, because if you're new, again, I'm a mama of eight, there's a lot of food feeding a family of 10 that goes down to this house, and we talk about a whole lot of homeschooling. So, brand new this week, I have had so many requests for my large family meal plans, large family meal planning help, people wanting to see what exactly I feed my family all day, every day, what goes down food-wise. I share a lot of recipes, a lot of grocery hauls, but I wanna say for years, you all have been asking for the full Large Family Meal Plan for the week, and over on my blog, largefamilytable.com, like the top article ever, is when I did a one month Large Family Meal Plan, where I did all the 90 meals and 60 snacks for 10 people for the month. So to make that a little more manageable for me, I'm gonna give you the Large Family Meal Plan for the week, starting with today. I'm starting to film this, it's a Sunday evening. So I guess I'll be going Sunday evening through Saturday evening. This morning for breakfast, the kids had muffins from the freezer. I made Travis and I an omelet. On the way home from church, we took a nice long country ride home. So I ran into the grocery store to get cat food, got myself a salad, got the kids some of those like dollar Lunchables. So what I'm doing now is dinner. Of course we have a ton of freezer meals, but Gabriel and I have been saying that we want spaghetti. So I've got, this is about four to five pounds of pasture raised ground beef. I'm going to do a big 14 quart pressure cooker full of sauce. I'm going to have mine on this spaghetti squash here and I'll do regular old noodles for the kids. Just chopped this spaghetti squash. I already put a cup of water in there too. To do spaghetti squash in the instant pot, you just cut them in half. You scoop out the insides, put in a cup of water, and then put it in the instant pot for 10 minutes. Over the last year and a half or so, I have continued to just let these electric pressure cookers be a bigger part of our life. Even if I am not doing a full meal in the pressure cooker, I feel like I'm using a pressure cooker for something every day. So like now, I happen to be using both pressure cookers tonight to do my big batch sauce and then to do my spaghetti squash, but some evenings I might just be doing rice or potatoes or some other steamed side item. And then some nights, you know, I'm just using one or two pressure cookers. The uh, five pounds of ground beef is done. I'm gonna pull that out and get some tomato sauce in there and some spices. So this is the, the big batch sauce. So also doing some meal prep for the coming week. I have 20 of these five ounce cans of tuna. I'm gonna prep a bunch of tuna salad for us to have for lunches for the next few days, either on wraps bread or on actual lettuce for a salad. And then I'm gonna do some veggies and fruit. Okay, Liam, so you can help with this tuna salad. I want you to take all that mayonnaise and get it in there. You can put okay. this, yeah, that's fine. You can also just put the spoon in there. Here's the whole big batch of tuna ready to go in the refrigerator for the week. So I had got this really cool looking cantaloupe cutter. Um, I wanna say this was like a $5 gadget. I got it a few months ago, hadn't used it yet. Well, that's pretty neat. Here's how this turned out. If I can find this little chopper thing on Amazon, I'll have a link in the description below for you if you're interested. So in here, I have made, five, it's five pounds of the spaghetti, the, the small shell noodles. And then in here we have a nice big pot of sauce. This will be for dinner tonight and probably dinner tomorrow night. And we may even have it as like a lunch choice option over the next few days. We'll see how long it lasts. So the kids are eating around the counter watching a documentary, but this is how their plates are looking. And here's my big obnoxious plate. There is half a spaghetti squash under there. The other one is in the Instant Pot. And I bet I'm gonna eat all this with no problem, but at least it's not a noodle. So it's bedtime around here. We're getting ready to do bedtime stories. Gonna show you the food that's left over and all the food that's prepped and ready to go for the week. So up here I set out two packs of pumpkin pancakes and a pack of French toast sticks. The kids will eat those over the next few days. We have some baked potatoes that are left. I did a steak roast last night. These were left over. I thought we'd have them for lunch today. However, we ended up eating, picking something up on the way home from church. So these will get eaten over the next few days. We, we will see when. It's Sunday evening now, so let's see. Um, this is my spaghetti squash I had with my dinner. Uh, we have the leftover spaghetti, so this is dinner for tomorrow, which is perfect because we have Taekwondo. So I just am gonna heat it up. I might 
pour it all in a baking pan and warm it. We, we will see. I've got some cauliflower and some more cauliflower I need to process. Got some other lettuce back there. This is the tuna salad I went ahead and prepped for lunches. This is the cantaloupe, which the kids are so ready to get into this, so um, that will be gone tomorrow. And then we have some veggies in here I'll be using throughout the week. Got a little bit of yogurt left. Three packs of muffins are out also. Apples, these three grapefruits. I don't want to try to get rid of these this week because they've been around a bit. So this is how we are starting out the week. Late night confessions. It's only 10:30, but anyway, just got kids read too. Got everybody in bed, and I really want to eat like peanut butter and bananas. <laughs> so in trying to behave myself, I'm going to make myself a a peanut butter protein shake. I've got some protein powder, almond milk, and then this PB Fit powder. I also will put some ice and stevia in here and just making myself a late night protein shake that's uh, not actually eating a jar of peanut butter. Happy Monday friends. So for breakfast today, so these are the French toast sticks I set up from the freezer last night. I'm going to just warm these in the microwave for about a minute. And then we have all of this cantaloupe I prepped yesterday so the kids are having French toast sticks and cantaloupe. This is Benjamin's cantaloupe and a little French toast stick. And there's Naomi's. This is Liam's. He's a cantaloupe machine. All of the French toast sticks have been eaten. Some kids want some seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and defrost these pancakes. Now I get lots of questions about about defrosting frozen pancakes. Of course, if you do it right, you're gonna put a layer of parchment pa paper between each pancake so you can peel individual ones. However, I don't need individual pancakes. I need a whole lot of pancakes. And then this is Travis and I's breakfast. He did not want Swiss cheese on his, but I put some on mine. So the kids are getting ready to run out with Travis. He's gotta to go to the tractor supply store. I've gotta make a bunch of phone calls and go through mail and such. So here's the tuna salad I made yesterday. I'm toasting it on bread, and I'm gonna to try to push those bananas as a side item today. I prefer to chop apples, but bananas gotta go. And then here is my mom lunch. So this one I was able to fold like a sandwich. This piece is a little smaller. I'm just gonna shove it in my face like that. So right now I'm getting ready to run five of the kids back out to Taekwondo. We're heating up the leftover spaghetti shells from last night and that's gonna be our real quick leftover dinner. So guys, it is another morning. It is Tuesday morning. Um, I didn't video it, but last night I went to Denny's, which is a local restaurant with a whole bunch of homeschool mom friends. We stayed out late having homeschool mom chat. I wanna stay till midnight. It was lots of fun, but I behaved myself. I ordered an omelet and I ordered bacon and I, I behaved, yay. So as far as the kids this morning, I have to actually go out to the dentist and do some errands today. So I'm gonna help them get some breakfast. They're gonna have pumpkin pancakes again. This is the second bag that's left. And then we're done with those freezer meals that I set out Sunday. This is the grilled chicken bacon ranch salad at McDonald's. I'm having this for lunch. Zion's having a Big Mac and fries and I'm having a Diet Coke. Kids are at home eating stuff with Travis and we'll all be back together for dinner tonight. So it's Wednesday. Last night, let me tell you what happened to our meal plan. I had on my calendar and I forgot when I did my meal plan this week. I got three big boxes of food for a sponsored opportunity from HelloFresh. And this video isn't sponsored by them, but this is just like back end behind the scenes stuff, right? So whenever I do that, I cook up all the boxes and then it uh, it just makes a ton of food for my family for several days. All that to say, so now today, Wednesday, we have a ton. There's some sausage spaghetti and some chicken and some meatloaves anyway. So we've now added that into what we're eating. Works out well for us though, because today is my work day. That's why I'm in this big sweater. It's 45 degrees outside, but my favorite place to work is out on my front porch porch, especially with all these leaves changing, etc. So this morning for breakfast, the kids are just like, I don't care if it's breakfast, eat, have your choice of leftovers. We need to eat this stuff. And I'm having some of the chicken that was left from my big HelloFresh cook up. And I think that's pretty much what we're going to be eating on this Wednesday. Good morning, friends. Well, I'm in the uh, same hat, same sweater, I think, that I was wearing in yesterday's clips. But uh, 
they're clean. I'm going with it. We're, we're moving forward. So today is Thursday and what is happening? Um, we're going to the Children's Museum today and then we have Taekwondo tonight. Another dynamic we have going on is I have, I have two cleaning ladies that come once a week or once every other week. And uh, since I'm also a working mom, they give my, they give the house a good top to bottom scrubbing. And we need to get going pretty soon in order to have a nice chunk of time at the Children's Museum. So kids are doing some quick pickup and getting ready for the day. I'm actually packing breakfast to take with us because we have a 45 minute drive. This is gonna be the breakfast bag with the muffins and some breakfast cookies. These are pretty big so they can just break them in half. And then I'm gonna encourage everyone to eat a banana with a bread item and then apples are underneath. And then this will be our big lunch bag with our frozen sandwiches, cookies, chips, raisins. And then I've got another bag of breakfast cookies. Those are from the freezer too. We're just gonna be out all day. So it should feed my people. Also, before we run out the door, I had three big steaks that I had set out two or three days ago to defrost that my husband was gonna grill. He hasn't gotten to that yet. So what I'm doing today is, cause obviously I wanna use up those steaks. I dumped them in the slow cooker. There's a sirloin in there and I think a top roast. I'm gonna put these two bags in there because keto low carb wise, these radishes end up tasting like potatoes. And then I'm gonna chop up two onions. This is gonna slow, this is gonna cook on low all day for up to eight hours and then Travis and I can have this for dinner this evening the kids we still got a lot of leftovers you'll see that they're gonna be working on eating up so we are at the Children's Museum Amelia would you like to show our friends how your sandwich has worked out yep. <laughs> yeah so this was a frozen sandwich is it good yep yep it's perfect you're on your second one aren't you how's your sandwich Daniel Good. Good. Okay, so back for dinner and gonna flip around to go to Taekwondo. We have her leftovers laid out. This is the sauce from the spaghetti I did earlier in the week. I'm going to freeze what is left here. I will use this in a spaghetti bag or chili or something later. These are baked potatoes. We're gonna eat those up. Several of these, this bag, these carrots, these sweet potatoes, these mashed potatoes, and actually this, this is like an Italian sausage spaghetti. Put all three steaks in here with some radishes and onions and let, have let them slow cook all day while we're gone. Oh, I think I said that earlier in the video. I did, I told you that. So here's how they're looking now, and that'll give Travis and I some low carb options. Okay, so we're having lunch, and one of our good friends who came over to visit, what did they bring us to go with our sandwiches, Daniel? What'd you get? Chips. Chips. Our friends brought us Doritos. So the kids are having, of course, freezer PB&Js that are defrosted, but they're also getting Doritos. And then, hello, dirty dishes. I'm gonna cut apples, and we'll have some apple slices with it, and that is our lunch for this Friday. For breakfast, it was... Da da! French toast sticks. This is what's left from those. And then I had two eggs. And we shall see what's happening for dinner. Well, I don't know how well I did on this first attempt of uh, what we ate this week, large family meal plan thing that I attempted to film. I know I didn't film anything the last few days and we've still been eating the last few days. So I kind of fell off the wagon with that, but hopefully you get my overall point of what I would like to do. I would like to be able to just take the camera around and show you how I'm planning and prepping and defrosting and cooking and recreating with leftovers and all of those little food things that I do in snippets to become this large family meal plan weekly video. So let me know what you liked about this video. Let me know what you would like to see more of. And I'm gonna pick up my camera and start again tomorrow, record another full week and try to capture all the things that you are looking for. Because you know here at Large Family Table, I'm all about helping you feed your people. But wait, but wait, there's more. You don't have to stop watching. Click this video right here and you can keep watching some of my very best large family cooking.